Hello, and welcome to the ICC Modbus Master Tool Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download registers to a Modbus device and verify that the values on the device match the register settings in a profile. This tutorial starts with a tool already connected to a Modbus device. See one of the Connecting to a Modbus Slave tutorials for how to do this. First, we need to select the register set we want to download. We do this by selecting a profile. Next, click on the download button to write the register values in the selected profile to our Modbus slave. The tool will prompt you to make sure you want to overwrite the registers on the device. Click yes to proceed with the download. When the download is complete, you'll see this prompt telling us that it was successful. Now that we've downloaded a register set to the device, we want to know if all the values we wrote got there successfully. We can do that by clicking on the verify button. The tool will compare the values read from the Modbus device with the values in the selected profile. If they all match, we'll see this prompt. Now what if we didn't want to overwrite the values on our device and just wanted to check if the current values of the registers on the device match what's in the selected profile? We can do that by clicking on the verify button as well. This time, we see that the registers on the device don't match the settings in the selected profile. We can see exactly which registers don't match by clicking on the View Differences button. The Difference Results window shows us all the registers that did not match. It will show what value was expected and the actual value read from the device. We can also save these results to a file or print the results. To save the results to a text file, click the Save Results button. Enter a name for the file and click Save. If you would rather print the results than save them to a file, click the Print Results button. Select the printer you'd like to print to and click Print. If you'd like to learn about what else you can do with the tool after connecting to a device, take a look at the tutorials for uploading and logging. Thanks for watching.